Oh, I have just had enough for today. I can't believe that. I spent another 10 minutes walking around looking for that crowbar. Where the hell I put it, I have no idea. I mean, the thing is, it's not exactly small. It's a big, long iron thing. All right, guys. So, that was a couple of days ago, me venting my anguish at uh, doing the fencing. And uh, since then, I've had a haircut. But also, I spent a cut another day doing a bit of fencing and then scouring, flipping field for that crowbar, right? Anyway, I come around here this morning with the old McCormick. I put a round bale out for these cattle because we've actually got too many in that field really at the moment. So what I've got here is bullion heifers and some dry cows. And bullion heifers, you want to keep them up near the house so you can see if, you can, if they're bullying and get them AI'd. We've got some that didn't get pregnant during winter and we kept them up here. It's a bit annoying because this is the handiest field, but there's too many in here for the amount of grass that will grow. So we've got to give them a bit of feed. So we're giving the old round bell. Anyway, that's beside the point. I wasn't going to talk about that, but <laughs> the reason I'm talking about it is I use this tractor, the old McCormick that I was using during fencing. I walked around the back just now. Look at this. Look. Flipping typical, it's the crowbar. So what I must have done, oh, just, you know, absolute wally. What I did obviously was when I was using the crowbar, I thought, oh, I'll just hang it on the back of the uh, drawbar, pick up, top link, top link, let's get it right. Hang it on the back of the top link. And I forgot I put it there. So I spent flipping ages scouring that field for that, for this crowbar and it was it was there all the time flipping typical now the other thing as well so me and the boys they're going to move um the, some heifers into that field in a minute some young four young ones i promised the boys that if they found the crowbar they get two quid harry wanted to come out last night looking for it and i said it was nine o'clock i said no i'm not going out there now do i tell them that i found it or do i just let them look what do you reckon well, I might tell them, I might let <laughs> me dad, I might let them scour the field for five minutes. <laughs> right, anyway. Oh, flipping plonker. Right, let's get going anyway. Gotta move these heifers in a minute. Beautiful morning. Look at this, look. Look at this. Oh, they're yeah, calling to each other. Elderberries. Can make elderberry champagne from that, or you can wait till the berries come and you can sort of make, I don't know whether you make a jam or not out of it, they're very small. Make wine out of it for sure. The, uh, I'll tell you an interesting little story as a side. So, you know, you might know I had my book published uh, 2010, The Year on a Dairy Farm. So I beat Tom Pemberton by 12 years. What's this called? A Year on a Farm or something? I'll have to get a copy of that. Um, I had that published and the bloke said to me in the picture, there's a picture of some elderberries on a tree and the bloke, the editor chap, who was quite young, he's just out of uni, said, Rich, I don't quite see where the black currants fit in with the farming. Well, there you go, that just goes to show that you can have a university degree but not know anything about nature or wildlife or something. It's what you're immersed in that is what you know, isn't it? Admittedly, I don't know a lot about book editing, but um, I do know my plants and flowers a little bit. All right, anyway, crack on. Let's move these cattle and see if I can wind the boys up. Right, Team Cornock. How are you feeling, Jack? You're a bit broken, aren't you? I'm fine. You're fine, are you all right? You're just yeah. sort of exhausted. Yeah, okay. Right, we've got to let these out. And you lovely haircut hair. there, still got Jen hair, lovely hair. He's right, you're going to let them out? You're wearing trainers, you're going to get covered in poo. What's mum going to say? These, these you might have to go in and drive them out. They're already on. They have got ringworm, that's what gave me ringworm, I think. Who's going to drive them out? Mm. Hey? Got I got ringworm, yeah. Right. Ooh. Come and stand around here, Harry. Hello, beautiful cowies. They're all right, aren't they? they look well, they'll do better when they've gone out on a bit of grass. Do you want to go in behind them, Jack? Or they'll. Was it four? 
five. That's Get that other one quick, for it. Otherwise, they've legged it, and you've got one left in there. Who won't know where to go. Oh, you Wally. That's it. All right. Where's your ring on? Yeah, I've got ring on my leg. Off these. Here we go. Look, I bet they'll like it out there. Oh, look, here they go. Little jumpy skippy. Now the key is find the crowbar. Find the crowbar? What's the money involved in that? Is it two quid? Oh, God, I've got poo on my ankle. I told you you get poo on your foot. Oh, well, I think so. Find the crowbar, find the crowbar. Stop there. Two quid to find the crowbar. Oh yeah, well, what? Harry, you already found it. Uh, no. might be a bit of a confession. Has a, has a. I found the crowbar. I found the crowbar. Oh, I found the hammer. Found. The... Sorry, boys. I actually did pick up the crowbar. Your dad, being a bit of a wally, I forgot. No, he left it on the back of the tractor. Just give us two quid each for messing up. Really? Yes. yes. And for cattle handling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I managed to get something like that. Look, there they go. Look at that. Woo! Loud before them. Here come the calves in black. Look I'm at that. I'm white. Here come the calves in black and white. Look at that, Skippy. Oh, it's so much better to be outside, isn't it? Look at I'm that. So happy. Yeah. Woo! Come on, girls. Don't let them go back out the gate. Oh. Like that. Oh. Don't go back into the yard, you absolute numpty. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, Harry. Oh. I bet you so those I four bet have gone to... off. I bet it's going to take 20 minutes for Harry to Oh, jeez. What? What's stupid, isn't it? Why, why did it do that? Oh, can you hear Harry shouting? He's back in the shed. He's <laughs> back in the shed. Oh, go, go. go, you go and get it as well. Go on. Come on, give him a hand. No, go, don't be mean. Your brother, you got to help him. Don't care. Oh, you absolute turn it. Right. <laughs> Calves, children, animals, they're all a nightmare. Right, have you got it? All oh, right. All right. Hang on, let me help you. How good is it? Right, hang on, Harry. First thing is, open this gate, make your life easier. I was shutting the gate. Right, now shut that gate so it doesn't go back in there. All right. Go on. Have you shut the gate yet? Go on. Look. Here it goes. All right. Oh, right. Oh, it's frightened of you now. Oh, come on. Come around this end. That's it. He's not the smartest. No, it wasn't the smartest, was it? She decided she was coming back in, then she would go back into the shed. You know, there it is. Now we know where its mates are, and it'd be running around panicking looking for them. There they are. There we go. There we go. Go and say hello. There we go. Well done, lads. You could let two more out. No, I'm going to leave them for a bit. They need a bit more cake. Mm -hmm. Just a bit more feed. They're, they're, these are a size enough that be okay out here, but the other ones need a little bit more the cake. They're coming back to see us now. <laughs> Cows down the fields, down the bottom. Third ground? Yeah. It's right. They're, not low down. They're, in, they're in the barn field. Oh, right, you going to shut this gate? Oh, I can see them. Come on, shut the gate. Come on. Quick, otherwise we'll have them back I out again. Hey? I, I thought you were a muscle man. Hey, Dad's got to do it, hasn't he? Yeah, that's it. No, actually, it's quite difficult. Oh, what's the headphones down there? I thought the cows. Right. Unless the cows have been let over the Cows are right down the bottom, down there. Sure, there's some little... Yeah, trust me, bottom. I've been down there this morning and sorted and it all out. And you black bales. Yes, well, I haven't moved them yet. I thought you said oh. you were moving them on Wednesday. Wednesday next week. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just come here. <laughs> just get... we can help. I just get loads of grief. We can help. Possibly. Because it's the holidays. Oh. I need a holiday. Right. Oh, right, we've done that. Next thing we're going to be loading that up and burning it in the Jubilee party, which actually the Jubilee Yay. bonfire beacon thing is right up on that hill. 
fast up there. Yeah. Alright, you gonna be loading that? Yeah. Good. Thursday? Yeah. Thursday? Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm building it. You've seen a dead bird? Where? Here. 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 Look at that. I'm not sure what it is. It looks to me like a blue tip. Look. It's definitely a chip. Look at it. It's got really. It's yellow, isn't it? Really yellow. Oh, sad. Definitely dead. De well, what do you think? No, I said I was just having a still alive. nap. Still <laughs> alive. Having a nap. It's having a sleep. It's still soft. The fact that it's got yellow on it, I reckon that blue, that's a blue tip. I don't know what happened to it, why it's there. But the only thing is I have seen is I've seen the crows and stuff go around the buildings and they and yeah. what they'll do, they'll fly and get chicks out of the nest and eat them. Put back up there. Yeah. Man, it's got a wobbly head. You well, you'd have a wobbly head if you were dead. Where's the eyes? Probably sunk. They sink when you die. Oh. There you go. There you go. Still anyway. Soft. All right. Cheers. Okay, slight change of plan with the uh, rails from the orchard. We're not actually going to be burning those on the Jubilee bonfire uh, tonight. They're putting some pallets up instead, which you just thought was easier and quicker to stack. Um, so we're, but me and Harry are going to go and just head up and just see how they're doing. They're just building it now. So we'll go and see how Tiverington Jubilee Beacon is looking. It's not a bonfire, it's a beacon. Here we are, we're up on the hill. The crew aren't here yet, but we're going to be putting the bonfire somewhere here. I'm not sure where. My battery is nearly flat on my camera, so how typical. I don't know how long I can film. Let's go and have a look. We can just about see our cows. You can't see the farmhouse very well from behind those trees. So there are our cows across there. The farmhouse and everything is just behind those the trees there. So you can just about can't really see, see it. Can you? Some of the back sheds. Yeah. Well, these are all ash trees, so they'll probably be dead in a year or two of ash dieback. So we'll get a better view in a year or two time. A lovely, is a lovely view, and there's some chairs, benches up here for people to sit and watch. If when these benches were put here, sort of 30 years ago, you could actually see across to our farm. Never mind. Right. Well, like all things, <laughs> don't go to plan, including losing my crowbar. We've been sat up here 20 minutes, and there's no sign of the of the crew to build the bonfire. So. We were going to give him a hand as well. I've got to get back for milking this afternoon. So it looks like we're not going to see the bonfire being built. We're not using our railings, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Because uh, the guys who are doing it are, are sound people and they're giving up their time. And like all these things, it's flexible, isn't it? Volunteers, you know, you've got to fit it in around your life, not the other way around. Um, so we're going to pop back tonight we will capture a little tiny bit of video of the village beacon because uh, i think it's quite an important thing to mark isn't it her majesty's 70 years in, of being in rain, rain or whatever being she's the queen. being the queen yeah being the queen she has done a fantastic job and i do salute you ma'am for being such a wonderful role model of uh dignity and what else would you say harry um service to the country yes so anyway, we're going to... Someone. Hey? Oh, someone probably walking their dog. We're going to crack on. This is a lovely spot for walking the dog. We're very lucky to live in this beautiful village. Right, we're going to crack on. We'll be back tonight just to capture lighting the beacon. Hey, I could do that if I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right, I'm back again. It's built now, look, behind me. We have the beacon. And it's, it's a good turnout as well. Look at this. Half a village has turned up, I think. So, uh, I think we've got three quarters, no, we've got about a quarter of an hour until lighting up time, so we'll see this going in about a quarter of an hour time. And I don't know whether we'll see the other beacons around the country, but um, it's not even very dark, and it's half past nine already. All right, we'll get back on this when it's lighting up time. So, a massive thank you to Janice and Chris Hart, who really
times when they were used as a first line of defence and a call to arms. Nowadays we use them to celebrate and commemorate and tonight it's recognition of 70 years of Elizabeth II reigning these Fair Isles and the Commonwealth. Yeah. Um, we'd also like to say thank you to Nigel Kent who built the bonfire beacon Woo! on the back of the bonfire and try to persuade us to acknowledge health and safety. Um, and we end with a quote from a family in Tillington that really sums it all up. Happy platy jubes, Madge! <laughs> Which call? That was the I would be down. Go on, Mike, get it going. <laughs> Back off a bit. back now. Blimey, that is hot. It's some real heat, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, the man trying to water it down there a bit. I'm glad, I'm glad we haven't got to rely on that and put it out. <laughs> That is amazingly hot. Good 
going a long way. They've got their wood pressure. We've got all the wood pressure down there. I don't want to turn mine down. We've got some extra value. There we go. Well, the bonfire's going down now we're heading off but i hope you like that little insight into Tiverington life great place to live